Puss in Boots One miller has got three sons. A mill, a donkey and a cat. The miller dies. The eldest son gets the mill. The middle son gets the donkey. And the youngest son gets the cat. Poor things, the youngest son. He can't stop thinking. My brothers can earn their living honestly. But what can I do? The cat asks his master for a bag and a pair of boots. He says that the situation is not so bad and goes hunting. The cunning cat gives fresh meat to the king from Marquis of Carabas. He gives that name to his master. One day he learns that the king and the princess are going for a walk to the riverbank. Your fortune is in your hands, says the cat. You should only go swimming to the right place. The miller's son is swimming. The king's carriage is coming. The wise cat hides his master's clothes under the stone and begins crying. Help! Marquis of Carabas is drowning! The king knows that name. He sends the guard to help the drowning man and gives him the best clothes. The princess sees the handsome young man wearing luxurious clothes and falls in love with him. The king invites Marquis of Carabas to have a walk with them and the cat runs ahead of them all. On their way they see meadows where peasants are cutting grass, fields where they are gathering crops, a big mill full of flour, a huge garden. The cat wants the peasants and they answer that Marquis of Carabas is the owner of the land. The king is amazed. The cat runs to the palace of the oak, who is a real owner of those lands, and asks to lead him to the master. The oak lets him in and invites him to have a rest. They say you can turn to any animal, said the cat. Look, said the oak, and turns into a huge lion. The cat is frightened, but looks brave. Moreover, they say you can turn into the smallest animal, but he can't believe it. You can't believe? cries the oak. Look, the lion turns into a mouse. The cat jumps and eats it. Then he runs to meet the carriage. Welcome to Marquis of Carabas' palace, he greeted the guests. The king is astonished by the beauty of his palace and suggests that Marquis of Carabas should marry his daughter. The princess is very happy. The cat becomes a noble magnate at his master's court and catches mice only for fun.